everyone, Miss Beth with you here today. We're going to be painting with bubbles. But before we go ahead and do that activity, I just want to bring some facts to you about bubbles and what the purpose of bubbles are that some of us may not know. Did you know when you blow bubbles and your child is looking at the bubble that they're working on their eye coordination? Because they're following the bubbles or maybe they're focusing on you as you're blowing the bubbles. Um, did you also know that if your child is blowing the bubbles, they're working on their abdominal muscles, which will help strengthen muscles for their gross motor muscles. Also, did you know that when your child is stomping the bubbles as they're falling on the floor, that is also working on their gross motor muscles, along with clapping the bubbles, smashing the bubbles, that is also working on their gross motor. To make it a fine motor activity, you just ask the child to pinch the bubbles. Can you pinch the bubbles? That would make it into a fine motor activity. Another fact about bubbles is that it helps your child with their motor skills within their mouth. So as a child is blowing bubbles, it is working muscles way back here in their mouth that helps with them to be able to sound out the letters such as K and G. It also helps because as they're blowing the bubbles, they're rounding their mouth like an O. That helps with the letter W and the long O sounds. Um, another fun activity you can do with bubbles is if you have a young toddler, infant age getting ready to crawl and walk, um, to sit on the floor with them and blow bubbles and have them crawl towards the bubbles and have them start walking. And as they're doing that, you're obviously scooting back so they're taking a little fewer or taking more steps, not fewer. We want them to take more steps towards you. <clears throat> Another great activity, um, like I said, we're gonna follow up with a painting with bubbles. It was a very simple activity. I just took some bubbles, added food color into them, laid down a piece of paper, and we just blew the bubbles onto the paper and it left a pretty neat art activity that my son was able to do. Bubbles can be either bought in at a store or you can make bubbles just by dish soap and water. I hope you guys enjoy painting with bubbles and I look forward to any pictures that you guys make. Please upload them so I can see our beautiful bubble paintings. Thank you and have a great day.